probably the two most common data type that you'll be using in any programming language is an array and a hash map. This is also true in Rust. So in this video, I'll explain how to work with hash maps in Rust. The first step is to import it. Say use std collections, and then it's called hash map. To initialize it, we'll say let map equals hash map, and then say new. Similar to a vector, hash map is a generic data type. It's actually generic over two data types, the key type and the value type. Let's declare a hash map of type where the key is a string and the value type is u32. Say hash map. The key type will be string and the value type will be u32. So this is how you will create a hash map. Let's make this example a little bit more easier to understand. Let's say that this hash map represents a score, scores of teams. So the key will be a string, which will be the name of the team, and U32 will represent the score of that team. Let's also make this mutable so that we'll be able to modify it. Let's first take a look at how to insert data into this hash map. So say scores dot insert. And then it's going to take in two inputs, the key type, which will be a string, and the value type, which will be U32. So let's say we have team called red, red dot two string. U32, let's say 100. Red team has 100 score. Let's look at another example. Let's say that the green team has also 100. So these are some ways to insert data into a hash map. Okay, once we have data inside a hash map, how do we actually get a data out of the hash map? So let's say that val is equal to scores dot get. The key type is a string. So here we'll need to pass in a reference to a string. And for reference to a string, we can also pass string literals. So let's say, what is the score of team green? So this is how you would get the data out of a hash map. What is the type of this value? Well, it's going to be option and the value type will be u32. So inside here, the value type will be a reference to u32. Reference to where this data is stored. Let's print this, print ln, and then let's execute this code. Okay, and then we get bow is equal to sum 100. And of course, if we try to get a value that doesn't exist, for example, let's say get team yellow, and then print it again, we can expect that the bow will be equal to none. Run the code and we get bow is equal to none. Since the value for the key yellow doesn't exist, we only insert it for red and green. Let's say that we wanted to update the value for green. Green currently has 100. All we have to do is simply override it. Say green is 100. Let's change this to 200 and then let's print the value out. Execute the code again and we get val sum 200. Now the green team has 200 points. Okay, so these are some examples of how to insert, get the value, and then also to overwrite. How about upsert? Upsert means to insert if the value doesn't exist for a key or update it if the value for the key already exists. The way to upsert into a hash map in Rust is a little bit tricky, so let me explain what's going on using the official documentation. Okay, here is the official documentation for Rust hash map. To upsert a value into a hash map, we first need to call a method called entry. When we call this function, it will return a struct called entry. And then to upsert from this struct called entry or enum called entry, we'll need to call the function called or insert. Okay, and here's an example. Here we have a hash map. We call the method called entry passing in the key. And then afterwards we call or insert. So what this function will do is if there's a value inside this key, then it will return a mutable reference to that value. Otherwise, if the value doesn't exist for the key, then it will insert whatever value that is provided inside here. Okay, so let's go back to our code editor to see your example. Okay, so let's say scores.entry. Let's try to get the team blue. Now notice for this example, team blue doesn't exist yet. So say team blue to string. Okay, this will give us an entry. And then now we can call the function or insert. If the value for team blue doesn't exist, then insert the default. Let's set this default to zero. And this will return a mutable reference to the value. So let's say let b of type a mutable reference to the value, which will be u32. Okay, so now that we have some kind of value for team blue, how do we update it? If the value exists, there will be some value. And if it doesn't, it will default to zero. So how do we update this? Since this is a mutable reference, we can dereference to update it. To dereference, we will use the asterisk. And then b, let's say 200 points, plus equals 200. Add 200 points to the current value. And then let's print this out. 
let's get the value for team blue. Say blue and then print it out. Let's also say blue. Execute the code and get blue has the value 200. Since we're upserting, let's call this again one more time and then print it out once more. Execute the code and get blue has score 200 and then we upsert and blue has score 400. So these are some examples of how to work with hash maps in Rust.